What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Nash here. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, before now before we get started with today's video, the road to 200 subs has now come to a close, and we are now at the halfway point to 500 subs. And who knows? Maybe we might hit 500 subs by the end of the summer. Only time will tell. But as I have said in previous videos, if this channel does get to 500 subs, I will open up this Korean LOB booster box in its entirety on the channel that I got from my partners over at, at Collector Store. So be sure to check them out. Link and address will be in the description below. By checking them out, not only does it support them, it also supports the channel. And I would greatly appreciate it. On the hopes of potentially pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Dark Magician, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, a Piece of Exodia, Monster Reborn, Pot of Greed, the possibilities are out there. However, if this channel gets to a thousand subs, I will open up this first edition to Chaos Box in its entirety on the channel that I also got from my partners over at Collector Store. On the hopes to potentially pull a Collector's Rare out of the set, much similar to what I pulled out of my Genesis Impact box that I opened up last year, which is this beautiful Beat Cup from the Underworld. This thing looks absolutely incredible, you guys. <clears throat> but with that being said, if you guys want to see those boxes get opened, maybe you guys want more episodes of WWE's Biggest Issue. Maybe you guys want more more episodes of, of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Biggest Issue. Deck profiles, card discussions, WWE topic videos, or maybe, just maybe, you guys want some premium live event predictions and, and results. Well, well, if you guys want all that and more, my channel is the place to be. So if you guys are new to the channel, and I know that, that a lot of you guys are, because more than 85% of you guys are watching the content, but you guys aren't even, aren't even, even subscribed. And, and, to... And to, to top it all off, we have to get more women to watch the content as well. So if you guys are watching the content, you like the content, and you want more of the content, but you guys have not subscribed as of yet, then make sure you guys do indeed subscribe to the channel, turn on the, the notification bell, smash that thumbs up button on this video, and as always, make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media, all of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to to my fan mail. It will also be in the in the description as well. And and I want you guys to post in the comments below, answering answering the question of the day, which is this: What are you guys' thoughts on Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge? And what do you think? What do you guys believe is bad? about the set in your opinion let me know down in the comments below and speaking of that speaking of terminal revenge there is one card in the set that i completely forgot to talk about here on the channel and it's actually a card that was used by none other by none other than crump of the big five from the uh, first half of season three Sorry about that, guys. I so, sorry about that, guys. Guys, I accidentally kicked my desk and my tripod moves. Anyway, it is actually a card that Crump you Crump used against Taya in their battle in the in the virtual world, and it's known as Ocean of Regeneration. Which honestly, I com again I completely forgot this was going to be in the set, but I figured you know what? Why not? Why not talk about it here? Right here, right now, in this video. So let's get to it. It is known as Ocean of, of Regeneration. Which is a continuous spell. And the effect is a once per turn that reads... That reads... You can target one one water monster in your grave with a thousand or less attack. Special summon it, but destroy it during, during the end phase. Funny enough, I believe there's... I believe Marine Cess can use this card... Hang on, hang on a second, guys. I actually want to check check this out. Give me one second. Okay. Go on to Nexus. Pick a deck. 
And then I'm going to select my shark deck if it'll load. Which, by the way, guys, which, by the way, because because of of the new shark support, I am I am going to be working on a working on updating that deck. So make sure you guys get ready for that, because that that's going to be. That one's gonna be pretty crazy. Um, how's going on, going on with this thing? Why is it not loading? Oh, here we go. There we go. Head to... Here we are, Shark. So, okay, so... Okay, finally got that taken care of. So, okay, so... The card said less... That it... That the monsters had to be at least a thousand or less. That means... That means if you're, if you're playing Shark... That means cards like Silent Sea Nettle... Silent Angler... Are are gonna be some of the main cards cards that you're gonna want that you're gonna want to you're gonna want to use in the deck that you're that you're gonna use off of that. So definitely, so shark is definitely one. Uh, Marine says, actually, funny enough, yes, yes, yes. There are quite a few uh, Marine says cards that that can work. Uh, Crown Tail, Sleepy Maiden. Basilami Lime Basil Alma, I believe is how it's pronounced. I'm, I'm I'm like butchering it right now. Uh Sea Star, Mandarin, and I think that's it. Uh Crystal Heart. I think Crystal Heart you can you you can you summon Crystal Heart? Yeah, actually I believe you can summon cards like Crystal Heart, Sea Angel. And, and Sea Angel, which are all, which are all, which both those cards are Link Monsters, so you can actually summon, summon it off of that, summon, su summon those off of that card, which is pretty cool. Um, what, what other shark cards could you summon off of Ocean of Regeneration? What, um, uh, uh, Gazer Shark, Eagle Shark, Dream Shark, if you... Wanted to play those cards. Cutter Shark is definitely one, one, one you can use. <clears throat> um, so, so, so there's quite, there's, there's quite a few. Um, there's, there's actually quite, quite a few. Funny enough. So honestly, though, so honestly, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's cool that we're finally getting to see, we're finally seeing this card get printed after so long, mainly because of of the fact that. Mainly because because of of the fact that the card, Ocean of Regeneration, just like most of the anime cards that we had seen in in previous battle battle battles of of Legend sets, we never thought thought this card would be would come to existence, but it has, and I'm kind of surprised that Konami Konami didn't print print any of 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 um. Of uh, Valens cards as well, because that's like that. That's like one of the main, like one of the main decks that fans all over the world are are clamoring to see to see get get released. Mainly because of of the fact that Valen Valen was like one of the only guys guys in the fucking in the fucking was the Waking the Dragons arc that was. Um, that was like truly like a man of honor in spite of using the seal of Orichalcos. So it's pretty, it's, it's pretty cool. But, um, but, but yeah, I mean, honestly though, honestly though, though, at least we are, we are getting more and more, more and more anime cards that we never thought we would see get printed. We're getting more of them, but there's still so many that, that we're missing. We're still missing cards like, um, we're, again, we're still missing Valens cards. We're still we're still missing quite a few of Raphael's cards. We're still missing some of Mai's cards. 
Yugi's cards. There's a lot that we're missing. So I don't know. I don't know if we're if we're gonna get 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 those cards down 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 the line. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe Valen's cards might become might get turned into a, into a future structure deck set. I don't fucking know. But I will say this though: with this card, Ocean of 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 regeneration, Marie says is def is definitely gonna be one is de definitely gonna be one one to look out for because. Because if this card gets gets seen in a Marine Says deck, which I think, yeah, yeah, it's mostly that that and Shark. Shark for the for for the, for the most part can can use it, but there's only like so many there, there's only so many like monsters with with less than a thousand that can be used, but. The card also says, but destroy during the end phase, meaning you have to use the monster as link material, fuse material, or even exceeds material for that matter to buy to buy to bypass it. So it so it does have have, have its down, downside, but but for the most part, it is still a pretty crazy good card. It does have, have potential, but I think Marine says it's like one of the main main decks that you're gonna want to use this card in. <clears throat> um, in my in my honest opinion, may, mainly because of the fact that more than half half the deck is all is all monsters with less than a thousand, which is pretty crazy. And I think also uh, the two link monsters that, that that I mentioned for that deck, I think there are mostly two ofs. If I if I remember correctly, they're they're either two twos or three ofs. But still, still pretty crazy card. Can't wait to finally. Uh, can't can't wait to see if if this card will get any form of meta relevance. But with that being said, that'll do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. If you guys are new to the channel, and you guys want more more card discussions in the future, then make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and as always, make sure make sure you guys are following me on all my social media. All of my ads will be in the description below, as will the info to my fan mail. It will also be in the description as well. And on that, this is your boy Nash, signing out.